get underway with our fourth and final game here uh, as we've been following a team Tundra Esports, former TSM that was briefly on Dying for about a week. But back to the Tundra tag for them. Our final game of the day. Thank you for jo uh, joining us. It's Tundra who have managed to find three wins in a row. And uh, Nine Panda is still looking for their first. There are, you know, some changes. I thought they were going to run the exact same lane, but Ramsey's this time is taking the task with them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also a little curious about the mid lane. In my head, I would assume Necro does really well. But maybe Windranger can just uh, stay back out. and chill, but I'm not sure. Yeah. See how it comes to rotating as well. I think there there might be trouble there uh, for the Windrunner in particular. I think a Tusk into a Necro, it's doable. It's doable, but I think that's better when you're, uh, you know, level six compared to earlier. Yeah. yeah we'll see. No, I, and I'm also curious about this uh, item build on Necro, because they do have a lot of annoying silences and stuff. The Because, so. I mean, the greedy build is... Okay, well, what's happening? Two for two. Ramses going in. Yeah, that he is. Come on, in for a bit of trouble here. There goes Tomato, though. Look at the essence he has so far. Oh, I don't know. Can I don't does? know. Does he win this? I think he does win this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, indeed, he does. I don't think I've ever seen a level one Slark get this much essence. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Ten. It's uh, pretty brutal. Oh, okay. And Tusk got the first blood. That's unfortunate uh, for nine pandas. Yeah. And uh, that's the thing about Essence Shift Level 1, right, is the, this duration is just pretty brutal. 20 seconds is not a whole lot to play with here. Fins off. Uh, but already, this lane is, I mean, we can start to see problems against this. Like you're saying, you yep. can, I mean, you, you nailed it from the get-go, didn't you? You said, yeah, maybe you can kill NP, but then you're given all this Essence. It's like, uh, just wait till he has a pounce, right? And then he's going to be able to actually do something about it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Top lane, we have Kasane again on the Wraith King, this time supported by the Phoenix. Definitely could be trouble in this lane, though, as it is going to be Stroke of Fate level 1 into Thirst, so no shot yet into that Blood Rite for the damage in that setup. But I assume that'll be coming pretty soon on level 2. Mid lane. I mean, Bryla's doing really well. I'm just curious on how bad it will get for Kiyotaka. Well, good job on his positioning. You know, careful not to stand in a path to give himself an easy stun. Kasane top lane. They can't quite get the kill. Oh, the Skellies, on the brother! Solo, dude. The Skellies, you're right. The tune helping out a little bit there. Solo should be just fine here. But uh, a scary moment all the same. He's under tower. Yeah, I mean, he's fine. <laughs> it's <kinda laughs> it's so crazy. annoying. I mean, as long as he has his uh, fire spirits, they, I don't think... Like, it's really hard to kill them. Like, every time they commit, if he has them ready, uh, I don't think they should be dying. It's true. Long cooldown early on on these fire spirits, but eventually they, you know, no downtime on them becomes a really nice farming mechanism for this hero. That's why I love him on four. Excited to see how Emerge is going to do this game. He does have some challenges, right? Like you said, the Bloodseeker is pretty good against him uh, and can definitely get on top of him with move speed and fights, but uh, we'll see if they're going to be able to protect him. Remember the good old uh, Sprout Supernova trick? Oh, yeah. I mean, it still works. It does. Does. But I, no one ever does. Okay, a TP already. Go. Yeah, yeah they're going to be looking for the two. Kind of damage on a boat, splitting their targets a little bit here. With but you got to run, brother. The Skellies, they never give up. That is that is true. They do never give up. Like, look at all these creeps getting hit in the tower. And he's going to lose two so far underneath his tower. Continuing to get chased down by the Skellies. White Mon as well, eager to even get him outside of experience range. And that's a full wave plus one miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly. I mean, look, you don't get the kill, right? So maybe it doesn't look that impressive, but he just lost an entire wave and the experience yeah. on probably half of it. That does not feel good. At least he got the pull off there, so. It's something, to be sure, but uh, not, not, not something to, to write home about, saying, look how good my lane has gone. That's not the case here. Maybe 
Immersion in trouble here. Solo does have level 2 Inkswell Icarus dive away in time. I don't think he connected either on that blood grenade. Indeed, he did not. Kasana even thinking, maybe I can make a go at this, but he's just too slow without the boots. At least the Dragonite is doing really well. Uh, that he is. As you said, as, like when the Prophet Teep is away, like, he will struggle if the Tuskius commits to sitting here. Then I go again here. Yep, he stun into stun. Snowball just a little bit off the mark, though, as Timato able to Radiant easily Dark Pact away the stun. Nice job on the pounce. What's that Fortify for? Is that Fortify for mid? It must have been. Yeah, you, you can look at what's happening mid. He's playing <laughs> yeah. in between the towers. This is uh, never the sign of a phenomenal mid lane, is it? When you've got the four I, I, minute wait. I'm wave. pretty sure he's, he's doing okay. Yeah, it's not. It, trust me, it can well, be worse. Okay, well, never mind. Well, he, he's hi, he's doing, hi. Don't you know, uh, you know, look, I know you haven't been casting for too long, Pi, but you have to be careful when you say things like that, all right? Yeah, no, Kiyotaka got cocky, man. Yeah. He should just take what he can get there. Just go back and heal, man. Yeah, pretty much. Pull the wave off of the tower with a power shot and just hope that you're not going to lose it too quickly. It's going to be yeah. trouble now with a second wave there and Bryal getting both refills. But yeah, we can say, like, the Slark is suffering a bit, but the so is also the Bloodseeker. Slark, in fact, looking for a bit of trouble here, but underneath the tower, is he safe? Actually, the rotation from top, courtesy of Solo, collects the kill. White Mod might not be out of this one yet, as Immersion is going to complete this TP on through. He wants this kill onto Solo. He should get that one with the Fire Spirits, taking him down. Not an equal trade whatsoever, though. They did manage to at least... Bully back Vitoon, he did have to run home to heal up, but uh, obviously a much better trade there Radiant's for the side of the pandas. Is under attack. This question is now, how much can Bryle get out of this early advantage mid? He's uh, keeping the wagon alive as much as he can. He needs this creep wave to come reinforced so he doesn't dive under the tower. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you should be talking about this, right? Prophet has TP ready, only half HP, but... Oh, damn. You see this? Wow. Some I do, I do yeah. Double TP. Reinforcements coming into this mid lane. They want to put down Bryle. They ought to have gotten him here. Here goes Whitemon as well. Bryle trying to get up the site. No chance, though. That's level 6 for the Windrunner. Great power shot to collect the kill. Oh, the we'll follow through for a second now onto Whitemon and gets the regen rune. That is perfect. That's what Nine Pan has needed. Got it. Ah, they're playing way better this game. And they're even going to maybe continue to rotate onto Team Motto? Yeah, this, why not? Oh, well, they're gonna they're gonna gank his Courier instead. That should let him know something's coming, but maybe he didn't get it out fast enough. He's silenced there by the Phantom's Embrace at the Rend. No, just barely getting out, but the auto attack chasing him down from Solo, collecting the kill. It's Ryle who will harvest his first kill, though, with that Scythe onto Ramses. His first act there of the buff. But another kill, it's a second one now, onto the Slark, and he is playing into this Bloodseeker, right? So an undispellable uh, rupture is always going to be annoying, not to mention the possibility for Thirst to Radiant ruin his regen at some point. Yeah. I mean, at least for Slark, like, the lane is always, like, pushed into him. So when he gets back, he gets to farm a bit. Like, he's... Yeah, he's already level 5 now. He should hit, uh, hit 6 kind of soonish. Brown's feeling fairly good about it. His start did take that one death, but is almost at these BOTs. And uh, top lane, it's uh, Kasane, who's also feeling fairly happy. More CS, 14 more, in fact. Uh, then the Bloodseeker is pulling with plenty of denies. Immediately into the Radiance for him, wasting basically no time. So you're going to have a lot of damage, a lot of AoE damage at that, uh, coming pretty yeah. soon out from Tundra, if they can make it through the next 10 minutes. You know, more or less okay. Batoon, ooh, dies to the supports. That is a painful death and a clutch rotation from Whitemon, who uh, is going to be able to assist immersion. They need a little bit more for that kill. Uh, an easy kill in return from Kiyotaka. Makes it a one for one as Whitemon, oh, just being a bit <laughs> annoying. Uh, I don't think he dies for this, but. Yeah. No, there's no point in Shackle. <laughs> Oh, Afro Ninja is going to force Ooh. Bryle to deny the ruin. There's a TP coming as well to this mid lane. It is yeah, they get uh, the tune with Solo and Kiyotaka now diving underneath the tower. They might actually get a couple of stunts here as Immersion stunned up by the Inks while silenced up. White Mon can do nothing but watch Bryle die as his TP duration is simply too long. Nice little Icarus dive on forward, and they have the damage they need for the follow up kill, swapping away at least one additional kill. That White Mon is uh, being. Hella annoying though. He's gonna hit six soon. Like the, I mean, you know the cores on Tundra—they're suffering a bit, but the supports, damn. 
Right? They're happy. They are. Kasane. Look at the top tower. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, he, he got some alone time with the tier 1 tower. And for a Wraith King, that means adios. It is going to go down. Ba uh, bottom, pardon me, is where Ramses is in trouble. Reaper Scythe committed, and another oh. kill. Bryle, two of two Scythes onto Ramses. Two of two confirmed kills. Virgin level 5 here as he is going to be forced to Icarus dive away. They didn't actually trigger the Ink Swell stun in time. Maybe they could have gotten that. Perhaps they didn't need it though. Afro Ninja making the jump on in. Immersion still finished off by the right clicks of Kiyotaka. But as Afro Ninja traded away, this is troublesome. So you're getting a little bit of that Ashy to the Slark and getting involved in a few of these kills. But still, it's Nine Pandas getting something even when they are losing these heroes. Yeah. In this game, the Wraith King is way spookier though. Like, he's got in the... It's kind of a dream start, really. Like, he's very farmed. Yeah, they they better go and kill him. Every coin helps. Nope, they cannot. Okay. They can, yeah. No, and I'm also thinking about Bryle here. Like, if I was Necrophos this game... Like, as I said earlier, the dream build is just to go Travel's Hearts. But I think you might have to go Blade Mail this game. I don't know. Let's see what he does. Rune secured mid for Bryle. It's only an invis rune. He's not really too interested in that. Immersion just shy of level 6 still. Uh, he is not the only one in the game. Afo Ninja is going to be the support left without his level 6 as Solo has now the point in the Fatal Bonds. Sorry, uh, not Fatal Bonds. <laughs> Soul Bind. Yeah. I don't like this from Timato. I, I, I don't like Midas on this hero. Or just this yeah. game. Uh, I mean, I can see the point in this game, because the Wraith King is just going to farm anyway. Farm Radiance, so you might as well just farm as well, but... Uh, cast I, I, though, I, I just you, don't you, think the hero does the like well with Midas. No, there's some heroes that are fine. Okay, okay. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I like it on supports in general more, but I, I think uh, Gaming Gladiators at TI prove that Midas is not as good as people think. Pretty okay play from Alpha Ninja. Gets the D ward and actually kind of forces the rotation out for Bryle. But this is going to burn more time off of Ramses. Oh, yeah. Elder Dragon form. And I think he dies. <laughs> Look at this. Body blocks. Ah, oh, brutal. Solar Crest is out onto him. Bryle has another Reaper Scythe. I don't think he's going to use it this time, giving the kill to White Mott. Mid lane, careful. They might make a dive onto Immersion in return. There is a snowball and a punch. They won't Radiant be able to get it out in time. What's more is Immersion has managed to pull the creep wave behind the tower. The Fortify Radiant's forcing back nine pandas. Very good play out from Immersion. These little plays make a little bit of a difference. Yeah, for sure. No, he's so annoying. Like, he's not letting them do anything. I mean, <laughs> if you click the Bloodseeker, like his, like his inventory just does not look correct. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know what bracket this is in. <laughs> It's just, uh, yeah. He's just, you know, he's he's balling on a budget. That's all, okay? Didn't exactly. Have, didn't really have the best start. Three points in Thirst. Doesn't have max blood rage quite yet. His team making some space for him in the mid lane. Uh, we'll see, though. I think this is not going to be as free as a fight as Nine Pandas are perhaps hoping for because there is a supernova. Bryle looking to get aggressive. Oh, God. The, oh, God. The body blocks. That's not nearly enough damage with the Reaper Sight, though. Way too early. And perhaps they can look this to not punish as there's going to be the Walrus Punch coming through. It looks like Afro Ninja still going to go down. Four heroes showing in the mid lane for Tundra. They bring the numbers. They bring the pain. And they might be able to bring down this tier one tower to boot. Yeah, that was extremely optimistic go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they thought were going to happen. I was optimistic by both teams. Bryle on the Reaper Scythe in particular. I don't know <laughs> if he thought there was a lion on his team or something, or maybe <laughs> maybe he missed the Death Pulse. I don't know, but <laughs> there's so much HP left. I mean, he was probably hoping to get it before the Windrunner or something. I, I, I guess, yeah. I mean, he got lucky, though. He got the last hit, so he healed up the full HP. Just all worked out. I don't know. This Dragonite offlane, it's like... He had a way better lane this time, but like if you're gonna rush Midas like this, I, I don't know. Like, what's the? Maybe he will show me. Like when Let they hit, cook. he has Let him level cook. four he's, ink swell. You know, he's going for blink dagger this time, and I think, you know, without a Zeus in the game, I mean, maybe a Necro is not much better. Granted, but you know, you're gonna be able to at least, excuse me, buy an item that allows you to play with both of your cores, right? Snowball into a blink dagger from the DK into an ink swell strikes me pretty good. 
That's a pretty good uh, option here. Okay, White Mon. I feel like annoying. he shouldn't have a Midas turn. Uh, that's a fair point. I guess he just wants to scale. Careful though, uh, Kiyotaka might be in for some trouble and up and just trapped onto the high ground. Bryle this time does not have himself uh, the old Reaper Scythe for 15 more seconds as Tumato is giving chase, hoping that Kiyotaka makes a turn here so he can secure the kill, but it's Kasane, <laughs> who is eventually going to be able to secure it. I think one of his skellies got it. Oh, that's a big, like he almost has Radiance, but he's so farmed. I think if a skeleton kills a hero, Pi, hear me out on this idea, it should turn yeah, yeah, yeah. into like a little Wraith King. You know, he oh, gets like a bigger, yeah. He gets like a stronger one. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Remember <laughs> greater treants? Exactly. <laughs> Dude, they were so broken. They were pretty dumb. <laughs> Do you remember old? My goodness, they just Prophet has just really been one of the silliest heroes that we've had in Dota, huh? Here he goes, one v three, almost winning. <laughs> Eventually taken down. Uh, but my favorite iteration of this guy's shard was when you would uh, cut down the tree, and then a greater treant would spawn <laughs> and block you. <laughs> Yeah. That was brutal. Kyle's feeling himself so. here. Once again, I mean, he, he's really since game one just been... Uh, game one of the day, by the way. Not just game one of this series, but just really in the groove. Oh, for sure. Like, I think he's a little less comfortable in this era, but... I mean, there's not that much to complain about. Like, maybe a bit too aggressive at some points, but... If you're not aggressive with Necrophos, then what's the point? Exactly. Looking for maybe a find onto Timato, who is starting to uh, get some of these Midas casts off. Don't want him to be too cozy down here. Blink Dagger is ready for ramp. We've got Solo and Athena Ninja behind. They have vision onto Tomato, but the action is actually onto the top lane, where Kasane is kind of baiting. Ryle was ready to counter-initiate there. Still both supports it behind the Slark for now, who is going to be aware of the war thanks to the Shadow Dance. However, jump could be incoming here. Ramses is going to make the play. But look how ready Tundra were immediately counter-initiating here. And it's a damn good one to boot. Immersion holding on to the Supernova. It's the Reaper Scythe out from Bryle collecting the kill onto the Tusk. Kasane also TAPing on through. Wants this kill onto Solo. Doesn't have any skeletons. <laughs> Actually has skeletons. I think he wants to get this kill himself. And he'll find it just with Radiance. Hello, Solo, and goodbye. Wow, what a bait from Tundra. They just knew exactly what was going to happen and were prepared to counter-initiate. Yeah. No, it was beautiful, but that's that's your Midas Dragonite right there. <laughs> Come on, that's man. The, the, that's your ace. Ace in the hole. Yeah, uh, you're right. It is, it is the offlane DK, and you can just tell the difference. Kasane, you know, first item Radiance, just running people down. Uh, Ramses, unable to collect the kills, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm... I don't know. I guess they've scrimmed Dragonite offlane, and it's worked out. I don't know. Because it's also, like, I'm looking at this uh, item build on Wind Ranger. This looks awful. <laughs> okay, do tell. No, but what the hell is the point of Hurricane Pike? Uh, what, what is he doing? To break leash, even though you, you just uh, wind run and the Slark cannot auto attack you. Yeah, no, like it's like fine, but I, I feel like you need something more powerful. Yeah. But I mean, with the is universal and you know it gives some that like a lot of yeah, damage. Yeah, it's a lot of stats. I, I guess there are worse item builds. I've just looked. I mean, at he, the... he should definitely know Wind Ranger, Wind Ranger mid better than I do. But it just looks off. It does not look good. Uh, I just wanted to point out, Ramses has played a lot of DK offlane. Um, I don't know about earlier today, but in the throughout the course of the qualifiers, it's looked really good for them overall. Uh, but it's not really looked so great. I have to say, the last couple of games certainly. Uh, yeah. But, but it I mean, maybe he can blame his team that their their lanes were too bad or something. That know. could be. That could be. Maybe it just needed to be a better lane, more denies, uh, a little bit more aggressive. That. Uh, Tundra was just not given. Yeah. But anyway, we can't count them out. Like, they're still in this game, actually. Yep. And maybe this is a good one. opportunity that they are looking for. Bryla is being healed up with that level 3 Sunray, and it's just it's just so much healing. And they just didn't have a chance there, honestly. Kiyotaka, decent damage here uh, on the focus fire, but just not nearly Ooh, enough as they have caught an uh, additional hero. It's Ramses. Look how fast he melts as well. Timato and uh, make that Kasane actually getting the last hit onto him. Kiyotaka. Finds the latch onto Immersion, who has Supernova, but no dive in. Two-man Soulbind, they're going to try and get through the team out of uh, Down goes to Supernova, the Fortify underneath the Tier 2 tower, but it's not going to make a difference for Kiyotaka. He goes down, 
And they're going for more! Oh my <laughs> god, Kasane! Just so do that on your offlane DK, why don't ya? Got him. <laughs> Dude, it's brutal. And it's just, it feels like the, a rerun of game one, doesn't it, at this point? Batoon, he's out farming. I mean, again, maybe you could say that's his job, but it's just, when is this going to turn around for them? When are nine pandas going to find the fight that they need to, to get back into this? Yeah. I mean, they have, they need Grim Stroke and they need double rupture on some. Uh, Ramsey's but even drawing then, lines they on the map. What does that mean? Are you seeing those? What does that mean? That's just anger, frustration. <laughs> it's, it's the caster Rorschach, you know? Yeah. The ink blot test. Holy, what a, what a blink on the Afro Ninja. I think uh, I th they're just killing a tusk. Don't don't mind this, guys. He's going to burn down the Radiance of all things. Uh, however, hold on. In real time, Kiyotaka, is he in trouble here? I don't know. Maybe it's Kasana who's gone too deep because Batoon is turning back onto him. But the okay. whole team will be here. Like, the this team will not is be a good fighting, threat. though. A nice stun onto two from Ramses. There's going to be at least the Hurricane Pike, but it doesn't really do too much. They've actually pulled in one. They've got the first life down from Kasana, but out comes the Reaper Sight. Down goes Ramses again. As nine pandas lose two heroes, and Kasane, he's not done yet. He's blinking forward. He wants a kill on a solo. Nearly one shots him underneath his own tier three tower. Timato now is taking an opportunity to jump on and they throw a blood grenade uh, 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. minutes in to defend them from the tier 3 tower. Wow. So they're having too much fun right now. They are having quite a bit of fun. But you can see Bryle is not eager to let Batoon farm at all. Look at he's denying all the creeps. But I guess he's playing Necro, so there's a point to this. <laughs> Back mid lane, they do have Bryle showing down bottom. Kiyotaka trying to do some damage here. Kasane is without this reincarnation for another minute and a half, but you can see how unfazed he is. Sure, he'll get back for now, but he'll just let White Mon take the tower instead. Is it really the most efficient play to give the Treants the Solar Crest? Oh, what a play. A, an aggressive. Oh, that's actually, Hurricane Pike, though. That was a good Hurricane Pike, but Kasane was ready for it. They're going to get another stun here onto Kiyotaka. Doesn't last too long because of the Ink Swell, but it's not going to matter. It lasts long enough. I can't believe it, Tundra! They are absolutely running over every opponent they face today. Dyer's Nine Pandas, no exception. Yeah. And I mean, uh, Bryl is even getting to do the dream item build there. I thought the it was going to be Dagon's, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is more fun. When you yeah. get your axe and you press W, people just die. Uh, this is the uh, start of that last engagement, right? We'll, we'll see what was a somewhat good initiation by Nine Pandas, but it just quickly turns into an overextension despite their best efforts and even a buyback. Just they're going again, and they're, they're just going again. There's just no time to chill. Our replay man, Flame, we're getting no credit here because it's just Tundra fighting, taking fight after fight after fight. Ryle chasing for more, actually has Reaper Scythe already. May not get the chance to use it, though. He may have over. Set it ever just so slightly as they do take down uh, Afro, Afro Ninja. Well, this That's is White Mount now taking a dive, a second kill, and now a third as Bryle picks up his first kill of the, I almost said the match, but I think of the game. Timato could be up next and is Vitoon with a big double kill here. A huge overextension there from Tundra as they are finally punished. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this. Uh, they needed this. Let's just put it that way. Oh, yeah. A gift horse here for Nine Pandas. So be sure to uh, not look it in the mouth as they are going to continue straight pushing and trying to claim some objectives here, get some vision up, something to play around, right? Yeah. Of course, the Tundra there, their mistake was just simply fighting underneath the fresh ward that Solo had planted too deep in the enemy triangle. And, uh, yeah, the Ray King didn't have his ult yet, so they just uh, they saw him and they jumped in. Yeah, no, no, no Supernova either, right? So they couldn't really stand their ground and fight. Too difficult for them there. And what's that gold gonna get Vatoon here? I think uh, it's gonna get him a, a brand new Manta stock. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm curious why. I guess it's just casually nice. Uh -oh. They see him. And he's not gonna get the Manta off this quickly here. We'll see if they can actually kill him. I think it's gonna be a bit difficult, especially with Solo so close behind. Dyer's bottom tower is under Effort attack. there. Skellies are <laughs> almost able to get through a tier 2 tower, but it's, uh, not quite with backdoor on top of it. But instead, oh, the look at top. Half the ninja. Top. Timato looking for the initiation and is going to easily have now his. Is that 11? That's 11 permanent stacks of agility. Back down bottom, though. Immersion able to increase dive away from trouble, at least for now. He is going to actually oh, use hey. Supernova, and that's not going to help him out. Uh, 
very, I mean, if not Manta style, then BKB, but either way, four heroes there? Oh, they want to wait. TSM, they want to go. I mean, sorry, Tundra. Yeah, and they have BKB available. Oh, okay, they not missed enough it, damage. Though. BKB in time. Ramsey's now in the fray. Look at this fight. It is not looking good for Tundra here. So much damage. But also, this Radiance, this uh, this Heartstopper aura doing too much to Nine Pandas. White Man, a bold TP in. But not, well, not one that uh, is really you know, one that cannot be cashed out at. Tundra looking for more. Underneath the Tier 2 tower, Ramsey's is going to deny it. As they do go looking for even further up to the high ground. <laughs> when will Tundra stop? Is it going to be for this kill on the solo? Not quite as Kimato leaping up to the high ground. Kasane sealing the deal with one big right click. Kiyotaka even continuously forced back here. Finally, Tundra will yield. Yeah. Oh, I think as long as they have this Wraith King ulti up, they feel kind of invincible. I mean, yeah. I mean, it literally has two lives, so... It's just hard to get enough damage to get through all of them. And, like, every time, too, the Aghanim, uh, Aghanim Shard on Slark is, like, saving everyone. Yep, the Depth Shroud. There was a buyback in that fight. I, I will just bring up that that was a, kind of a curious one from Immersion. He felt the need to buy back in that, in that engagement, so... Uh, For the tween. You know, uh, it's just interesting, right, because he didn't have Supernova, right? He, he had died initially, and then his team <laughs> took the fight right after, so it's it was... Yeah, no, it's, it's a little bit of nerves. Yeah, true. It could be. Uh, maybe they just want to keep the in. pressure on, right? They, they don't want this Bloodseeker farming too comfortably now that he has Manta. Yeah, but as you said, like, his buyback was kind of useless, right? Yeah. If you don't have egg. Look, I didn't say really. it, but you are really good at reading between the lines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mid lane. This is maybe a bit of a bold move with only White Man and Timato nearby, but Brian is quickly completing the TP and already has a single kill. Might find another onto Solo and the Yule Scepter in the nick of time to cancel. It leaves him on 13 My HP. Life. He dies the time he hits the deck. Fade dies actually Yule's memory. damage. Yeah, it's not, not every, every game you get to see not that. Every day, 50 magic damage. See you later. Oh, that was so annoying when he used people before and they blinked away. Yeah. It's not cool. Tier 2 Tower, Tundra seemingly back into the driver's seat. They, they kind of just kept playing like nothing ever happened and it kind of worked out for them, honestly. Such was the net yeah. worth lead. Ramsey's finding a bit more farm. Is halfway to his egg, oh, which ain't that bad, but he may be put back behind the eight ball here relatively soon. Because uh, Whitemont is here to potentially ruin his day. BKB active for Ramsey's, and he is forced to TP away. That's eight second charge utilized. Better than dying. Yeah, and now it's annoying. Like, it's way harder to go for Roche at this point. I mean, contesting Roche for nine yep. pandas, but they're still still getting out there. Ultimado in this run. Oh, he's going to be scouted here. Maybe they can look for oh, a quick jump on him. Nice shackle onto oh, no, the detection. and company. They're on to be two. They have the detection. Two man soulbind. Can they get anything out from this? Good stun. The silence follow up on the two, but the double rupture though. The uh, shadow dance just in time. Rupture's pretty good. They got through immersion before we could get off the ultimate, and that's Kasane now down on his first life. But Ryle is going to be completing his TP on in. They're on to Ramsey's immediately. Another shackle. Oh, is going to do good enough to keep Ryle from ulting Ramsey's, but that means he hasn't for perhaps another kill. Nine Pandas, they need to bail out from this fight, retreating back up to the high ground. They have buyback on two of their heroes here, Pi, as Tundra, without Aegis, going up to the high ground. Quick stun there. He's going to trigger the Fortify from Nine Pandas. The Shackle Shot doesn't really find much there. Tundra still looking for an opening by the looks of things. Unable yeah. to find one here as Pandas will play it defensively. That was crazy. No, you should have seen, like, both supports were just getting chased by, like, 20 skeletons. Like, they couldn't <laughs> rejoin the fight. It was so stupid. But uh, they oh, they probably could have burst the Timado. But what happened was he moved right out of uh, detection range. Uh, so the, the little ghost from Grimstroke, like, right. disappeared. So he got his ultimate on. It's quite unfortunate. Yeah, sharp eyes. Nice movement there. He knew there must have been a sentry, and then the second sentry just a little bit too late. And he's trying to put down to keep the CC. Uh-oh, that's a DD run in the river. And uh, I'd be surprised if Bryle takes this one. Oh, okay, I'm calling me surprised. <laughs> I guess he wasn't going to give it to Immersion, but... <laughs> you know what? It's not really that bad of a damage now that I look at it. I don't know if he really needed it, but... It's fine. He, he does have the dream build online, Pi. 
Heart, Ag, Scepter now ready to go, and I think he's got Assange on his way, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. Yeah, I wonder Assange. I mean, the less greedy build is you just go BKB, but I don't think they're close to a nullifier on Nine Pandas. No, not quite. So you can they probably are do this. Pretty close to Blood Mist, though, which is a pretty significant item here for Vatoon. If they can, you know, get at least a kill in the fight, he can really sno end up snowballing that into uh, kind of unkillable status. We've, we've yet to see like a good egg as well in these mid-game fights, I have to say, uh, from Immersion. I think it's it's really hard, you know, against this kind of a lineup in fairness, but uh, perhaps it's nerves getting to him, kind of getting jumped, you know. It's kind of his job uh, as a Phoenix player to, to be able to get that thing off. Yeah, now he had one cool egg in the mid lane uh, when they dove the tier 2 tower, but that was... Uh, That's true. After that, it's not really been... And it's, it's harder now too, right? Ooh, they have Kiyotaka. BTB on every core. Busted up. They will be able to make the jump on him. He does not have a BKB, but he does have at least the Hurricane Pike. It's a little bit of a gap. A nice two-man shackle. Buying him plenty of time, but the door is closing behind him. Solo able to only do so much as he can offer him, but a mere dispel courtesy of the Inks. Well, Stun is going to find two. with Wetmon with a quick little cheeky TP. A nice Sprout oh, is going to oh, completely look block them off, getting any sort of retreat. He's going to try and get to the high ground, but is going to be killed. That oh. is a rupture onto Wetmon. He says, see you later. I'm TPing out from this fight, guys. Blood Mist is online here. Careful for that on the Vatoon. That's a super aggressive act. Vatoon just pops BKB, goes for the kill immediately, and through Reaper Scythe even, he easily has the back. egg down. Three buyback now from Nine Pandas as they're on to Bryl. Bryl falling too damn fast as well. Vatoon still barely alive as they chase after him and they have the kill. He's without buyback now. We'll see how the rest of the fight goes. As that's going to be one buyback at least onto the Grimstroke. Kasane chasing after more. Still has his reincarnation. Decides to go looking back for Kiyotaka, but instead of Rams, he stands in his way. A beautiful two-man shackle this time out from Kiyotaka. Does get that first life. The reincarnation is utilized. Ancient Black Dragon does oh not care God. about trees, but he has no recourse against this big old Kasane Wraith King. It's four dead for the side of Nine Pandas and two two diebacks. Is it? No, I I, I think it everyone is? on Nine Pandas bought back. Like three at least. Yeah, it was it was three in that fight. Oh no, that Aghanim on Wraith King is so clutch. Vatoon, you're right, the Wraith form. Vatoon does not have by that, but just a little bit of gold. Oh, goodness, the four stats. They are so aggressive here, but they lack detection. to able to get that kill onto the Windrunner. Damage on a Kasane now, 30 seconds until he's got reincarnation, so does have to play somewhat cautiously, but Tundra eager to at least open up the top lane. Be able to collect on these. Barracks. No one in the game right now with buyback. Eight seconds until the tune is respawned. He's going to respawn without a top lane of Rax. Another decent shackle, but nothing that's going to result in a kill here. Tundra able to escape. The game that much more dire now for Nine Pandas is not only are they down 20k, 22k, pardon me, net worth lead, but a top lane of Barracks to boot. Yeah. Now that TPN by Whiteman was beautiful. Like blocking them with the sprout, then he tanked the rupture, tip it out. Like uh, very well played. Now. And then in the base there, they just managed to burst the necrophos. But uh, I didn't see it. But he had already completed agonim, uh, agonim scepter and wraith king. Yeah, I didn't so see that either. He, the the wraith form, good to go. I mean, he's yeah. so tanky as well. He actually even has a nullifier. Okay, holy moly, incoming though, onto Bryl, they're gonna try and get through him here on his first life, the Soulbind onto two, also serves as lockdown for Timato, it's a pretty good supernova though, Rams is gonna try to focus it down, but Bryl and Timato both still alive, they will at least be able to get through the supernova, and I think the Wraith form, no, Spark is still, no, he's in the Wraith form, he is gonna go down, but not before he takes two heroes with him, Kiyotaka lucky to be alive as Kasane has Blink Dagger, but no vision to chase after him, the team fight's falling apart here for nine pandas, but they did at least get two heroes here, and a big catch at that. Timato takes a rare death in this game. Yeah, I'm surprised he, he died there, but I guess with the tag team and I, I'm guessing he was focused fire too. It's just too much. But it's like this Raid King Axe is just yeah, really obnoxious. It's a bit of a game changer for him. Oh, okay. White Mon may end up feeding at death here. Killer. That is if he does. They have vision on him thanks to the curse of the old growth. If they can catch him is an entirely different question. That's, I mean, what a play. All right, White Mon. Okay, there you go. No more wind run. White Mon, no way he makes it out, right? No way he makes it out. Okay, he does not. So what Kiyotaka is going to be able to secure the kill at the very least with a power shot, but he is going to die in return. Pai is dead <laughs> for a hundred seconds. 
<laughs> wow. That's he's, Wraith he's for trying, you. though. Trying for some cute place there. Yeah. That he is. I don't know, it's just in this death shroud by Timado. Just saving them. Saving them so hard because they are getting like some nice spells out. Like I think they're they're getting the Grimstroke, the Soulbind, and they're getting like a lot of the double cast spells. But I don't know with the Sunray heal and the Death Shroud heal. Yeah, well, the then, even if you out. kill them, they come back. It's just it's too much, too hard to play. But even if you kill them, they still have that Wraith for for a, a while yeah. longer. It's I mean, and, and Tomato has been able to do a lot of work in that phase, as has Brile, as we've seen. I mean, but the good news is is they have proven killable, right? Tundra, they, they've yeah. played it pretty fast and loose. That's actually first Roche, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Yeah, no, See, no, they did. They did like it. So uh, what that means is, I, I think, what it implies to me anyways, Tundra have been playing just pretty aggressive, right? Not not necessarily unrestrained. Don't take it that way, lads. It's, it's just more of they've been playing like they've been having fun. And that's good because they are on a 3-0 win streak so far on the day. But now they've slowed down. They've taken they've taken down Roshan. Not only are you going to have two lives on the Wraith King and Wraith form, you've got two lives now on the Slur. And a DD rune. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's it, like the game is at that point where... Yeah, Tundra, they need to make a major mistake. Well, and Nine Pandas, Nine I mean, Pandas their, their to... room to maneuver is basically nil. They, they have no buybacks. Yeah. Oh, Kastana. Okay, could be something, okay. even if it's just, uh, oh, the first life oh of Timado is unleashed. Early cast here on the Shadow Dance just to secure the first opening kill. No buyback on the Sark. He's down for 45 seconds, making up the Tusk is what I mean. Okay, nice double rupture here. Does lock down Kasane and Bryle. Bryle able to avoid a lot of the damage. Kasane still alive, still holding on to that first reincarnation. He's got a damn butterfly, by the way, on this Raid King. Immersion nearly bursted down here, but still holding on to the Supernova. Almost goes there to the power shot. Still alive on the high ground. Right. Out comes the Reaper Scythe. Goodbye, Ramson, for the fourth time this game. Holy moly, Batoon is fast. Collecting that first life at least onto Kasane, but in goes Timato now for more. And Bryle is just nuking them down, even as he is. Stunned. He is slowly ticking down these heroes. Himato with another assist there as Bryle gets the kill on the Kiyotaka, and Nine Pandas will call it. They throw in the towel.